War made us reconsider the way in which we should develop our energy system in Ukraine. My name is Yudana. I am Ukrainian. And before war, I was living my normal life, working for an energy company and building solar power plants for commercial purposes. Before Russia started destroying our energy system, we had no idea how dependent we are on one source of energy. By losing one nuclear power plant, which is now occupied, the Zaporizhia power plant, we lost 20% of our generation capacity. And nuclear was and still is a leader among the energy sources in Ukraine. Amidst the war, Ukraine tries to transition to clean energy while ensuring its energy, securing, energy security at the same time. We need to ensure that electricity is supplied to every house. How do we do that? Through, first, synchronization with the EU energy market, implementing energy storage technologies, developing decentralized energy sources, and flexibility. Under immense pressure, we managed to plug into the energy system of European Union, and we did it not within one year, but within a few weeks. If not that synchronization, Ukraine would stay in a black, total white country blackout. Now, having this possibility to trade, to receive import, to export, we are able to stabilize our system, to stabilize the system of bordering countries and in ensure the trade. Ukraine now adopted the program that by 2023, we would like to have a 27% of share of renewables in the general consumption of Ukraine. Solar is a leading industry, then hydro and wind is also coming. This year, we faced unprecedented case of storage market booming, hybrid solutions everywhere. Households, apartments, industries are implementing solar plus storages to be self, to be independent. The phrase of the business this winter that is coming is that it is only you that you can rely on when, when, when there is a question of electricity supply to your house. Already nine times we have proved that hybrid solutions for schools and hospitals are effective. Our schools have been working during the blackouts for up to eight hours. Solar is enough to cover consumption up to 50%. This is the school in Kiev region. This region was occupied during the first months of the war. The school was destroyed, robbed. We finished the school six months ago together with our partners and donors. And now 2,000 pupils go to these schools and they can continue their education. Interruptions of electricity supply do not affect their lives. This is the act of creation. This is the transition to clean energy that enables life at the darkest time. Thank you.